guys, this is crazy. Like, try to picture that. Uh, this big, huge truck. I kid you not. Monster truck looking truck. <laughs> Blocking the entrance. Yo, what's good with the YouTube? It's your boy Trey Pranks and Vlogs, aka Trey Gaming Slash Reactions. Back at it again with another story time, man. And first off, man, make sure you guys like the video, man. That's the very number one first thing that you guys have to do. I mean, it do it doesn't take that long. It's just one second, bro. It doesn't take ten years. So please, guys, it really means a lot. Make sure you guys like the video, man. Um, also. I know I haven't uploaded on this channel. I know I haven't been active on this channel that much. I recently did an unboxing, though. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, it'll probably... You guys probably see it on the screen right now. So, if you guys didn't know, I did recently do an unboxing. That'll be in the description. Make sure you guys go check it out. It's pretty something pretty interesting. I was um, unboxing a Nintendo Wii Pro controller. Um, so, yeah, something pretty interesting, man. So, make sure you guys go check that out. If you like that type of content it'll really mean a lot if you guys go check that out like it of course watch it because you know i just i upload these videos for you guys to have something interesting and fun to watch so i expect for you guys to watch it if if it's something that you are into i expect for you guys to watch it and of course like it man it really means a lot when you guys do that um and yeah man uh also i have to say this bro this is amazing thank you guys for 800 subscribers bro this this is amazing man 800 subscribers on my second channel right here bro this is amazing only 196 more subscribers to go before we hit 1k man we're on that 1k grind man that 1k sub bro so i really appreciate you guys the you, you new viewers well not viewers man you new you you new subscribers <laughs> i appreciate you guys for subscribing man thank you a lot for subscribing if you like this type of content please make sure that you guys you know share do all that comment uh, and of course watch that's the most important thing man watch and like um i also have a, a main channel if you guys didn't know that yet um and that's really one of the main reasons why i haven't been too active on this channel is because i've been on my main channel so make sure you guys go subscribe to that it'll be in the description below so if, yeah if you like the type of content that you see over there you like what you see yeah you definitely want to hit the subscribe button man and watch some of the videos over there and of course like and yeah man it'll really mean a lot if you guys do that um but yeah i don't want to start too much of you guys this time because uh, it's been like two minutes and cut 30 seconds now 30 some seconds so yeah so the story time so as you guys can already tell by the video uh this is a story time that happened at an atm like an atm machine this is a pretty crazy story time i don't know what the um thumbnail is going to be it's been so long since i made a story time bro i think my last one was back in 2018 um you guys probably see it on the screen so that one was a pretty juicy one man that one <laughs> that one was crazy so uh that'll be one of in one of the uh links in the description make sure you guys go check that one out that was a crazy story time that one <laughs> it, it is juicy uh that's all i gotta say so i don't want to spoil it just make sure you guys go check that one out if you haven't yet um but yeah man it's been so long since i did a story time so yeah without further ado let's get off into this one so i don't know where we were coming from so this one night i i think we were coming from our uh, on our way from the grocery store not on our way to the grocery store but i think we were coming from the grocery store if i have been mistaken we were, i think we were like coming from walmart i, I don't really know all the details I, i'm gonna just try to put in some of the details that i can remember from this night but yeah i think we were coming from walmart maybe um and we decided on our way back home uh, we would stop by the ATM, you know, obviously get some, you know, money out because that's obviously what an ATM is for. So we decided to stop by the ATM on our way home to do that. Um, and one red flag, I'm going to tell you guys, this this first red flag is when we were trying to turn into the ATM and we couldn't actually turn into it 
because there was this truck block blocking the entrance like where cars that's where cars tried to turn into so like guys this is crazy like try to picture that uh, this big huge truck i kid you not monster truck looking truck <laughs> blocking the entrance so that you can't you know he wouldn't allow you obviously to turn in you know into the atm uh because he was like blocking the entrance so like i don't know who was in the truck bro obviously someone was in there it may have it may have been more than one people but the way that was set up it was like they were planning like like, like they were plotting something bro like a robbery or something because when i tell you guys this next part this is this is gonna like trip you guys out this is crazy man so that's already the first red flag there's a big giant truck not giant but it's, it's like a regular like diesel truck with monster truck wheels on it blocking the entrance so you can't turn that way into the atm so that's already one red flag so we had no other choice but to actually turn you know like go down and actually turn all the way around into the atm so kid you guys not once we you know drive down and then take a i think take a left and then turn into the atm bro there's this black dude man you know black dude you know dreads and he's standing in front of the uh, ATM screen, you know, and obviously, if an ATM screen or I'm sorry, ATM machine is in order, it'll obviously be lit up. You, you know, it'll have light. Obviously, it'll be lit up. You know, it's in order, and it has light and all that. So obviously, the ATM was out of order because you know there was no light, bro. There was literally no light. Like I couldn't see any light, bro. So obviously the ATM was out of order and I don't know what dude was thinking I guess he was thinking maybe if he's standing in front of the screen when someone turned in they won't see the light and they would think that he he's blocking the light because he's standing in front of the screen or something I don't know bro it's crazy but obviously I don't know I don't know what he had in mind but obviously that's not gonna work because if an ATM machine is in, if the ATM machine is in order, uh, it, you're gonna see light, bro. It doesn't matter who's standing in front of it, you're gonna see light. So, dude was just like literally just standing at the ATM, like you know, trying to play and make like he trying to get money out and all that. When obviously in reality we know he's not getting anything, he's just trying to play like he getting something out. The ATM machine is out of order, so you know he's not getting nothing out of there. He's just making it seem like he's trying to get something out. So you know we drive in. Um, dude has a car parked behind him, and now remember this: I told you guys there was a truck at, at the entrance, so we couldn't drive in to the entrance because there was a big truck there. So there's there's already a whole another vehicle with God knows how many people is inside. And when we drive all the way around, because we had no other choice to do that, because the entrance was blocked, so you couldn't go that way. So when we went around, uh, dude at ATM had a car parked behind him. You know, that that's crazy. And we don't know who all is in that car. So there's two vehicles. And one dude is, you know, out, you know, trying to trying to see what he can do. There's two other vehicles. We don't know how many people are in those two vehicles. So I opened my door and I don't know, bro, the spirit must have really been working with, with my mom that night. I, I believe the spirit was really working with my mom, bro, because the spirit tells my mom to tell me not to, you know, get out. So I closed the door. I opened the door up. My mom t tells me not to get out. That's the spirit telling my mom that, you know, telling me not to get out the car. So. Uh, I had the door open. I closed the door because my mom tells me to close it because that's what the spirit told her. And, you know, we just, we, we didn't leave right away. We kind of sat there for a while and we just kind of analyzed this situation. We kind of analyzed things. So obviously we didn't get out the car because that would have been dangerous. Bro, God knows what would have happened if I would have got out the car. Because dude, you know, remember what I told you guys, dude was standing up there trying to make like you know he's getting some out of the machine when in reality he's not because you know the machine's out of order i told you guys that um and you know and another another red flag dude kept looking back 
dude kept looking back at us. Ah, I can't even talk. But yeah, dude kept looking back at us. Um, that's another red flag. Obviously, you you're up to something. You look, bro. You look suspicious. You looking back like I don't know how many times, like twenty thousand times. I mean, I know that's over exaggerated, but still, bro. I mean, he was looking back quite a few times, bro. He was looking back quite a few times. So that was crazy, man. You know, we just sat there for a while and and we just seen what he was doing. And we we didn't see no money, bro. We didn't see nothing come out. So he trying to make like he was getting some out the machine. We didn't see anything, bro. That machine out of order. The, you, you can't see no light. The machine doesn't work. And uh, he, I don't know, bro. It, it's just it, I'm speech. I, it had me kind of speechless like I am now because had, <laughs> God forbid if I if I got the car, what would have happened, bro? Like seriously, what would have happened? And and the way that was shot up, it, it, it felt like a robbery. Like the way everything was shot up. It felt literally like a robbery. Like, you know, you had the big truck and it, um, blocking the entrance or whatever. You had that situation right there. So we had to turn all the way around uh, the other way because we couldn't go that way because the truck was blocking that part. And then you had dude at the ATM with a vehicle behind him, you know, parked behind him. And we don't know who's in that vehicle because, you know, the, the windows are tended tanded black you know they're tanted black is what i'm trying to say i can't get my words right but the the windows are tanted black you know you can't see through those car windows you don't know who's in there <laughs> bro that's crazy like bro i keep thinking because i i opened my door bro what oh my goodness this this is crazy guys this this, this when i tell you guys that this is crazy this was really crazy, man. Cause God forbid I got out. Well, I probably would have got robbed because you know the, everything was literally shot up like a robbery. You know, like if if he needed backup, whoever was in that truck probably would have got out, and it would have just been it would have just been all bad. It would have just been all types of bad, man. So let me tell you what we do next. So we get ready to leave because you know we sat there for a while. Uh, we we tried to you know look at the situation. We we was looking at what dude was doing. And, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we was looking at what dude was doing and all that. Um, and so we just we after that we just got ready to leave. So my mom bags the car out and all that man. Um, and dude is looking at us bagging out the car. The dude that's at, that that that's at the ATM. He's looking at us bagging out the car so he he has this look on his face like yo where are you guys going and then he points at the atm like oh you know i'm done you know do you guys want to come to the atm and i'm like no bro you we've sat here for i don't know probably like 10 minutes 10 15 minutes maybe less than that maybe less than that i don't know bro but we sat there for a pretty good minute watching you and you were doing nothing but looking back at us trying to play like you getting something out of the machine and in reality the machine is out of order so and then the truck and then the car you know those are two red flags right there because you don't know who was in those vehicles they were trying to set i don't know what they were trying to set up it could have been a robbery it could have been even a murder or a kidnap you don't know bro because that that was crazy man when I tell you guys it was crazy, it was crazy. I mean, I wish you guys could have been there to see it. It was insane, man. Um, but yeah, man, you know, my mom, she bags all the way out. And we just turn around and we just get out of there, man. And dude, dude just keeps pointing at the ATM like, no, like, I'm done. Like, you got, where, you, where are you guys going? I am done with the machine. Do you guys want to come to the machine? And my mom's like, no, she's like signing no to the dude. She's shaking her head. No, like I'm good. And we bounced out of there, bro. Like we bounced out of there. I mean, there was really nothing else that happened that night. We got out of that dangerous situation. Bro, I thank God, bro. That could have been bad, bro. I mean, I, I really feel like the spirit was working with my mom that night. Because, bro, had I got out the car, or I'm going to say had me and my mom got out the car things would have been god forbid things would have been bad man 
things would have gotten really bad. So, bro, I just thank God, man. I think I, I'm just going to say the moral of this story is trust your gut because my gut had butterflies and my gut was telling me no. Even though my I, I was telling myself yes, my gut was telling me no. And then my mom just told me no. And so I listened, man. So the moral of this story, make sure that you guys listen to your gut, man. I was going to get out that door. My mom said, no, don't get out that door, you know, because you don't know what they plot. So, bro, that was crazy, man. Um, more to the story. Listen, listen to your gut, man. Listen to what the spirit tells you, bro. It's, it, it's crazy, bro. It, that that could have gone very bad. Um, but, yeah, there's not really any more details. Those are really the main details I remember from that story. Um, there, it really wasn't much that went down there. It was just, you know, two vehicles and a dude at the ATM. And, and you know, it, it just really wasn't much that went down. But it, it was crazy, though. It was weird. You know, they, it's like they were plotting a robbery. Because, you know, you have two vehicles and then a dude <laughs> at, at an ATM that is out of order, that doesn't even work. And obviously, no one's going to stand at an ATM that doesn't work. But yo man, hopefully you guys enjoyed enjoyed the story, bro. This is crazy, man. Um yeah, this video's 15 minutes now, so I had a feeling it was going to be that long. For I I didn't think it was going to be any longer than that. 15 minutes. I think that's pretty solid. But yeah, man, that's besides the point. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Story time. Make sure you guys like, you know, it just really means a lot, bro. You know, if you guys like this type of content, Make sure you guys like. I also did another story time. I, I mentioned this at the very beginning of the video. My last story time I did back in 2018. Um, Cause it's been so long since I did one. And uh, that was like the last one I did. So make sure you guys go check that one out. That was a pretty juicy one as well. Um, but yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much it, bro. Um, not really nothing much else to say. Make sure you guys subscribe to my main channel if you haven't yet. You know, go peep out the content over there. And if you, it piques your interest, please, by all means, make sure you guys subscribe, man. It really mean a lot. Watch the videos, like them. Watch the videos over here. Do the same. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys once again for 800 subscribers. Once again, only 196 more subscribers to go. And we'll be at 1K, bro. So that's going to be pretty amazing, man. Um, I already have the watch hours. So once I hit 1K, we're going to be... We're going to be getting to some uh, monetization. So that's going to be pretty amazing, man. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure you guys go check out my unboxing that I did over... Now, what, what am I saying? <laughs> uh, my last video I did on this channel, my unboxing video. Make sure you guys go check that out um, if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So peace out, guys. Take care. And uh, I am out, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace. And I almost forgot to add some more things, guys. Uh, this isn't actually the only story time here that I'll be telling. Um, I actually have another story time that I'm going to be telling, man. Um, it's something crazy that actually happened to me and my mom in Walmart. Uh, this was basically when COVID was popping off and it was very bad and all that and it was lines outside of grocery stores and all that obviously covid's died down a bit now but yeah ba basically this story time was during the time it was lines on the outside of stores um and basically this happened at walmart when basically everyone was standing in line well i think it was after i got out of line to go into the store and uh yeah this is gonna be a pretty crazy story time that i tell i don't know when i'm gonna upload it but i'll definitely uh upload it guys that's another one that i'll be telling another story time and i also will be doing a uh 3ds video on on how to record 3ds without a capture card in 2020 i feel like i just need to redo that so I will be doing a 3DS video, you know, how to record it in 2020 without a capture card. How to record 3DS without a capture card 2020. I'll be doing that and uh, probably editing some more beats and uh, uploading some more beats. Um, but yeah, man, um, that's uh, pretty much it. And again, peace.